Hi, I'm Akomi, and welcome to Deepest Sleep. Now, uh, I am super, super excited about this. Um, as uh, as y'all know, uh, I played Deep Sleep and Deeper Sleep earlier in my channel, back when I had hair. And um, I absolutely loved the games. Um, they were a little bit complex for someone of my complete lack of skill, uh, and so I had to pull up a walkthrough and all that jazz, which I've actually got a walkthrough pulled up for this one now, just in case I get stuck. I'm going to try not to use it, but you know how all that goes. So hopefully it won't be an issue, but I'm prepared at this time. Anyway, I'm super, super excited about this. It uh, uh, Once once I finished Deeper Sleep, I actually did some research and found that they did make the third game in the series, Deepest Sleep, and I was so happy about it because this game was a lot of fun. I love point and clicks, and it just it scared the willies out of me. So, um, I was just really, really excited about this. Um, uh, I, I also learned that Markiplier did a playthrough of this, which, uh, you know, when I do, when I do, uh, indie games, especially indie horror games, I try to stray from games that, like, Markiplier or PewDiePie did, unless it's something that really, really interested me. So, when I went into this series, I had no idea that he had done a playthrough of it, and I might not have actually played it myself, had I known that. So I'm actually really glad that I was not aware of that. I'm really glad that I'm playing through it myself. Um, I know my commentary cannot compete with his, but uh, maybe maybe mine will just kind of bring a new angle to things or something. I, I sure hope. I still haven't actually watched the Markiplier playthrough of this. I watch a ton of Markiplier videos, but just I haven't watched those. Anyway, I'm rambling at this point. Um, I've been rambling for like two minutes, so uh, we're just going to jump right into things and get playing here. Hey, clang clang, horror games. I remember that crosshair. Man. Love this so much. I guess there's parts one and two. They've got more games! We may have to check that out sometime. So I've got my volume cranked way up. These are nice noise-canceling headphones. I do wish that I were playing this at night. I try to play scary games at night, but I just got too excited. I just want to play it uh, and see how far we get here. Fight it. Fight it. I woke up in the middle of the night. I couldn't move or say anything. And there was someone in my room. Well, I say that it's too dark for my webcam, and this actually looks really bad, so as atmospheric as it would be to turn out the lights, I'm going to keep this up and on. But, uh, hello, mister. Is someone there? That's totally what I would do if I woke up with a stranger at the foot of my bed. Oh my god, I can't move. He seems to be looking at me. Now, I happen to know, if he were looking at you, there would be glowing eyes, dude, because that's what it's been throughout this entire game. Oh god! Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that, that escalated quickly. So I thought I was in a well. I thought I started this game in a well, because at the last one, I went to the bottom of the well and looked up, and the guys were there. Oh, jeez, that scared the heck out of me. And my heart is pounding up a storm. That's awful. Okay. Such a wuss. My god, I'm such a wuss. It's locked. The shelf is empty. Hmm. Oh, no. A bottle. What is it? I see. Oh, snap, son. It's one of those things. Do I get out of here? Oh man, you wouldn't think this little pixelated game would just terrify the life out of me. But... Yeah, bring it, punk. Bring it. I don't fear you. I don't fear you because you're two lights at the end of the hall instead of eyes. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
So we can go through the big lit entryway, which is probably important, or this being a point-and-click adventure game, I'm guessing that there is crap to the sides here, so let's hang a left. I'm a lefty. Paper. That's important, right? Hello, Bert. I'm sure this note gets to you somehow. Okay. So you followed this stupid traveler even though you knew what's going to happen. You are at the bottom of the depth now. There's nothing beneath you. It's important that you avoid the bottom feeders. Yeah, I know this. They sense motion, so don't make any sudden moves near them. Also, don't go to the dark church. The darkness there will suffocate you. Find a ladder. It should take you back to the surface. Sincerely, yourself. Oh, man. Hmm. Well, let's take a look at this rope here. A reel with no handle. Can I just not just pull the rope? I mean, come on, just like... Just saying. Okay, so avoid the monsters, obviously. Don't go to the black church, which something tells me we're just going to have to ignore that advice and just keep plowing ahead. Okay... Man, I hate scary stuff. Okay. What do we got here? It's moldy and stinky. Awesome. Just like me. The bottom feeders. They live at the bottom layer of the realm of dreams, feeding upon everything that ends up there. Even the shadow people fear them. They are blind, but can sense vibrations and movement. But staying perfectly still, you should be... Good to know. So did... The screwdriver! That was really important in the last one. I dropped it, and the, the lady got me. It's moldy and stinky. It is moldy and stinky. Can't. Smells like paint. <gasps> a tape measure! No, that's not a tape measure. It looked like a tape measure from that angle, but it's a hammer. Well, a screwdriver and a hammer. I should be good to go. No, use the screwdriver with the cans of paint. You know what, you're a real lame -o sometimes, self. Okay, so I think that's everything. Lots of paint in here. So how do I get out? There we go. Well, let's go plow into our death, shall we? Oh boy, I don't like this. Hi! Oh boy. A stone skull. Yes, it is. I'm gonna hit it with my hammer. It's too solid to break like that. What if I hit it with this sealed vase? Bad idea. What if I unscrew it from the wall? Everyone knows that the ancient people who built mighty temples used screws. I don't see any screws. Well, that's not my problem now, is it? What if I use the hammer on the sealed vase. I'm so amazing at this, I don't even know what to do with myself. A shiny chin. Have this. Fits perfectly in the eye hole. Good. So am I missing another one? I can probably use the screwdriver and or hammer with this thing. Hit it. Um, no. Screw it! I don't see how that could work. Well, you know, that's because you're not me, okay? Well, let's get out of here. So... What am I missing here? Oh, was I missing something down there? Oh, that's just more backtracking. shelf is empty. But what is that? Okay, let's unscrew the shelf, maybe? Hmm. Don't tell me I'm gonna have to look up the walkthrough now. I mean, that's dumb. Break the shelf with a hammer. I know it's empty, yo! Oh, it 
permeates its own light. Well, maybe now if I break the glass with the hammer. It's not break like that. I don't know. There's a door right there. Can I use my screwdriver? No. Hmm. Can't believe it. I'm ten minutes in and I'm already gonna have to hit up the walkthrough. Oh wait! Ha! Ah! Hey, there's there's another shiny gem. Gem is stuck in the statue's mouth. Huh, if only I had a red-handled screwdriver with which to pop that sucker out. Bink. Thank you, Mr. Gargoyle. I see no handle or keyhole. I don't know what it is about protagonists in point and point adventure games, but they are just smarmy little jerk faces. Sometimes. Usually when I try to get them to do something stupid. It's perfectly in the eye hole. It's good. You have beautiful eyes. Okay, let's go. Oh. Are these all bugs? That's disgusting! Okay. A small hole. Oh, so many bugs! Oh, this is really phobic. Okay. Oh, I missed it. Hey! so far. Oh, this humming. Ah, it's awful. I don't, I really don't know what I'm doing. I am just putting small gems into small holes and hoping for the best. And it doesn't seem to be going super great for me right this moment. Um, I'm just gonna take this with me then. Uh huh. And take that with me. And I'm just gonna use this one and take that one with me. No? Uh oh. What if I stick them both here? Wait a minute. Ha! was the dark church oh oh dummy dummy okay that makes perfect sense those weren't bugs that was the darkness that was threatening to consume me okay so i think i better take a look at the walkthrough and see what it is i'm supposed to do because i don't want to spend a, a whole nother video just getting myself into a corner and dying and getting consumed by darkness so um I'm going to take a minute to take a look at that. I'm going to call this video a wrap for now, but uh, we'll pick up in the next one and hopefully figure out where to go from there. So, thanks everybody so much for watching. Uh, make sure to check out some of the other videos I've done. Check out the other two parts to this one. Uh, that was back when I had hair. And uh, I will see you guys next time on Deepest Sleep. I'll catch you guys later.